Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our submarine. As you guys can see right here, in the previous video, we actually ended up extending this thing, which is kind of crazy, and we also added eight, uh, no, 12 missile bays. And we also actually did some tester missiles as well. However, I didn't manage to save it after that because I don't know why. But essentially, I did put some missiles in here and I fired them off. If you guys want to go check that out, check out the previous video. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is actually try and put some propulsion into this thing by adding a nuclear reactor. Now, instead of using a nuclear reactor that we're going to build, we're going to go ahead and take the preset one and whack it in here and see if that will do the job. So, let's go ahead and see if it fits. Alright guys, so this is the current situation. We have now got the actual thingamabobby that we needed, which is awesome. We're now going to go ahead and grab it from there down to here, and we're going to go to the other side as well and grab this all the way out to here, all the way to the back, and all of this as well. This is actually the one from the presets tab, because why not use it, you know? We might as well. So let's go ahead and cut this, there we go, and move it down to the interior. Um, now, obviously the interior might have to be changed slightly uh, in order to make this fit, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and move it into position where it will work, there we go. And I guess move it further forwards again so it'll fit as well, and that'll be pretty good. There we go, we can actually paste that right there, merge this down, and there we go. So this is the back end. I don't know whether the actual rest of the reactor will fit in front of this, so instead of actually leaving that there like that, we're going to go ahead and delete this guy right here, which I don't know whether you guys can actually see this, but there you go. And we're going to move it backwards through the wall into that bit back there. There we go. Okay, I'm also going to actually raise it upwards and bring it backwards even further and leave it there. Okay, nice. That is actually a pretty good place for it, so delete that. There we go. And now we have all of this on the roof that we now need to fix as well. Luckily, I can just go ahead and delete this or do this and also do this and we can just box it all off. Honestly, that seems like the best idea, so that is what we're going to do. There we go, box that right there, and seal it off on the top. Voila! There we go, good. Okay, I'm actually really happy with this. It is currently working out. I am a little bit lost, and I can't really see in here, but there you go. So put this here like this, and do that. There we go. Nice, I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, so we fit this little bit of the reactor in here, which is awesome. This is the bit that we really need, so that's good. Uh, these can actually be changed to look a little bit different, and honestly, I might actually change it to look different uh, in terms of actually just putting these guys down the side or something like that. Might actually be pretty cool. I'm also going to delete this guy right here, this guy right here, this guy right here, and this guy, and also that guy. Uh, in order to get through, and then we can actually make this room look a little bit better as well, uh, in order to actually use it. But for now, this is in. Okay, the next thing we need is actually this bit right here, and we also need these two as well. So, let's go ahead and grab this, and see if we can put it in there, uh, all nicely and stuff. Uh, so grab all of that. I don't think I need this bottom piece, although maybe I do. Maybe I do? What is this? What is, what is this extra bit? I don't know. I don't know what that is, so we're going to go ahead and grab all of it anyway. Go ahead and cut it, there we go, and flip it over like so. Okay, is that the right way around? I don't know if it is. I'm not sure if this is the right way around or the wrong way around, but there you go. Uh, I might have to box that bit off as well, but that's fine. So, let's go ahead and send it down into the actual vehicle. Here we go, go ahead and send it down even further. And, uh, yeah, we need it just in here. Okay, fantastic. Um, what we might be able to do actually is delete this guy and delete these guys, there we go, and send it backwards, just one. There we go. Nice, okay, cool. So we now have a nuclear reactor on the inside of our submarine. Kinda ugly, but that's okay. Delete this guy, good, and we're gonna have to box this off, unfortunately, but that's okay. So pipes, hold on, yes, pipe, yep, mm-hmm. Go ahead and uh, send this upwards, we'll use the uh, inside pipes for now, there we go. And then we can go ahead and send it up and around. So straight pipe, there we go. There we go, there we go. And then we can just use normal pipes to attach this together. Hopefully. So whack that on there, there we go, good. Go ahead and send it in a straight line this way. Here we go, very nice. And attach all of this together. And bam! There we go, nice. Okay, I'm actually really happy with that. Let's go ahead and fix this little bit into position two. And this little bit as well, because we can. Alright, nice. Um, is this gonna work? Is this actually gonna work? I'm assuming it will, but I, I genuinely don't know. Okay, so one thing that we are actually going to do to this is add a switch box. Now, the switch box is going to allow it to go in and also out, in terms of this guy right here. 
Um, when these guys are in, obviously it is creating electricity, and when they are out, it is no longer going to do that. So hopefully this works. Anyway, we need a button to turn this on, so let's go ahead and go to the button, uh, whack it straight into here, and attach it up to there, that seems good. So we're going to have on be 1 and off be minus 1 in order to make it go in and out properly. Uh, we're then going to have to give it all electricity, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but there you go. So attach it to there, attach it to there, even these guys, and this, and every single one of these. And that is going to be awesome. There we go. Good. Um, we also need an actual battery for this, but that's okay. Don't worry about that just yet. In fact, do worry about that. We need a battery. We do. So batteries, let's go ahead and get these. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put some of them at the very front, at the side. In fact... Yeah, I don't know where to put these. <laughs> They're very, like, I don't know. We need them, but I don't know where they should go. For now, I'm actually going to go ahead and just place them um, on top of here. There we go. Two batteries. Why not? Attach that to there. Attach it to here. Go. Oh, sorry. There's one thing that I actually missed as well. This toggle button has to actually connect to each of these, uh, which is a fuel rod release. There we go. So we can actually pull them back out again uh, if we need to. Honestly, I don't think we're going to really do that, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but there you go. All of it should actually work now. Okay, we're inside. Let's go ahead and have a little look at this. So, at the minute, it is not actually attached, as you guys can see. Oh, now it is, apparently. I don't know how that happened. But it is actually heating up. But if I press this, it disconnects it, and it should actually slide it backwards. But I don't think it is going to do that. I don't know. Anyway, go ahead and connect it all up together again. And it is actually working. Okay, fantastic. Fan dabby dozy. It's actually very loud, though. This thing is extremely loud. Um, but essentially, this will heat up. Uh, once it heats up, the uh, steam will come out. It'll go into the... Um, oh my, it's so loud. Into the turbine and power the generator, which should give us electricity. Which then means we can actually use the electricity to drive around. Hopefully, that actually works. Alright, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get ourselves a motor. Yes, uh, it is going to be a large electrical motor. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and shove this in here at the rear, uh, right about here. Uh, but we need it right in the center. So from there, we're going to go and go one, two, three. All right, there we go. Hopefully we can use that. There we go. Awesome. We can then put some gearboxes into this and actually make it work really well. Gearbox, here we go. Go ahead and put it that way. Good. Then get ourselves a pipe and send it all the way through. Here we go. So delete this guy, delete that guy, delete that guy, and there we go. Alright, nice. This is actually going to work. Send it all the way through to there. And now we should be able to drive this thing around. Maybe. Uh, it is a definite maybe. Seat. Here we go. Go ahead and whack it in here for right now. Good. Attach this. W and S to each of these. Or just to this. And then let's see if we can actually drive it forwards. I think we will be able to. I'm also going to go with 3 to 1 on here. There we go. Good. Okay, so just to give it a little bit of uh, extra stuff, we're going to go ahead and add some batteries to this. Uh, these are going to be sort of irrelevant uh, at the beginning, but don't worry about it just yet. Let's go ahead and attach that to there. Go ahead and do another one, and do another one, and do another one. There we go. And that is going to allow us to drive around, at least for right now. So now we connect each of these guys together. There we go. Hold on. There we go. Nice. We'll turn infinite electricity off, and that will allow us to actually test it. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put a dial in as well, in order to actually see if it recharges. So that's going to go right here. We're going to connect these guys to the electricity as well. And connect this down to there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and change all of the color to white really quickly. Bam. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and push the button. Actually, no, don't push the button. Yeah, when it's off, it goes in. When it's on, it comes out. That is how it works. Okay, so there you go. It's going in. There we go. Connected. Very nice. It should now start heating up and giving us electricity. Nice. So it's now my job to actually use the electricity. So let's go ahead and drive ourselves forwards. Here we go. And get ourselves out of here a little bit. Use a little bit of our battery power. And um, we'll test it out from there. Okay, so after driving for a little bit, I do believe our nuclear reactor has actually exploded. So I don't know why, but it has. Um, it's still generating power, but... Uh, oh no, is it our boiler that's blew up? I think it's the boiler that blew up. Um, which is kind of unfortunate, really. Um, because I've got all of these guys trying to do their job, but I think they, uh, they're not really doing their job very well or something. I don't know. Realistically, this shouldn't have blown up, I don't think. Um, but yeah, it has. So there you go. 
Anyway, um, oh yeah, look at that, it's at 270. That's crazy, that's actually really hot. Um, but that does mean that it's probably actually generating enough power to be uh, um, regenerating our battery. That's good, that's really good. Wait, no, am I being silly? I think I'm being silly. We had infinite fuel on this entire time. That was very silly of me. Very, very silly of me. Um, but there you go. Anyway, can we dive down? Because I really want to. I really want to go downwards. I don't think I'm able to. Um, but yeah, we still don't have hatches to the ballast tanks yet. So I want to do that. And then we should be able to actually sink. But yes, our battery power is being used. Um, and we are not getting it regenerated quick enough. So we need to either... Fix this and figure out what's going on back here. Um, oh yeah, do something. Because the pressure in there is zero, so clearly that's not doing anything. Which means that's not doing anything, which means this is not doing anything. Alright, so I've respawned and we've got it moving again, as you guys can see. And the uh, electricity is going down, which sh actually makes sense this time. Because we haven't got it actually working just yet. If we have a look like this, that temperature needs to get up to 100 so that this gets up to 100. And so on. Yes. Okay, so our temperature is actually up there now. Let's go ahead and get back inside of here and see if it is actually doing anything to uh, regenerate our power. Let's have a little look. So it's at 0.81. It just exploded. Yikes. Okay, so it is worth mentioning that the boiler is the thing that is exploding here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure how I want to fix that. Realistically, we could change this so that it doesn't get so hot. But um, at the same time, we don't really have to do that. Um, the temperature of this isn't actually cooling it down long, oh, quick enough because we can't actually force enough uh, through this, which is kind of annoying. If we go to the other side, do 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 do, it comes out of here and it goes into the steam turbine. Um, wait, actually, oh, okay, right. So it goes in here, it then gets pumped out of there into every single one of these, which hopefully should cool it down, and then it gets back into that one, and then it goes back into there, and then it goes into here. Oh, sorry, a uh, little into here, um, and it comes out of there, and it goes back into... Wait, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Wait, where does this go? So, hang on. I need to actually see what this is. <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually messed around with boilers and stuff, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, but let's see. So delete that guy. This is steam out. Okay, and that goes backwards, and it goes into the condenser. And then the condenser sends it into the boiler. And then the boiler sends it out and into here. Oh no, the other way. The other way. So it goes from here into there, which then sends it into here. So what I'm thinking we do, uh, which might not be the best way of doing this. It, it really probably isn't the best way of doing this. Um, but what if we... Let's get a level or a meter. Do, 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 do. Let's get ourselves a little fluid meter, yes, and smash it into there to begin with. So we'll actually delete this guy and do this. Get ourselves a dial and put it there and see how much fuel, or see how much water is actually in there. So level, yes. And essentially what we'll do is we'll have the boiler be able to bypass and send the water straight outside. And then if we need to, we can refill this. So 12,775. Okay, so we got our steam out right here on this side. Let's go ahead and delete it from here and we'll actually have a way of uh, cutting it to go sideways. So delete these three right here, get ourselves a valve, uh, not, not a valve, a valve, and shove it on there instead. So we can actually go with a fluid valve. Here we go, go ahead and shove it on here like this. I think it's that way around. This should be out, yes. And, oh, no, that's not quite how I want it. It's not quite how I want it. I think I, I do want it the way I was going to build it. Delete this guy. Okay, get ourselves a pipe. Do, 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 do. Yes, this guy right here. And then we'll put the valve on this, and hopefully that'll work. So go back to here, get another valve. Here we go. Yes, this guy. And shove it on there like this. Okay, we're then going to go to the center, which is just here. We're going to delete all of these, and we're going to send it down. So if we can, let's go this way. Actually, should we add a pump to this? Maybe we should add a pump. Do, 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 do. Yep, let's go ahead and shove a pump onto here. Just like this, I believe. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Fluid out. No, the other way around. Hang on. 
There we go. Okay, and then fluid out. Yes. Okay, this is fine. So we now send this down, and we send it round, and we send it out of there, and then hopefully we can get rid of some of the uh, pressure. All right, so we grab ourselves a greater than, and we shove it right here, kind of like this. Here we go. Just shove it on there like so. And essentially what this does, if this is greater... Uh, wait, hang on. If A value to compare is greater than value to be compared to. So if this is less than... Oh, no, 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 no. This one's got nothing to do with this. This one has nothing to do with that. If the pressure... Do, 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 pressure, pressure, pressure is greater than... Uh, d -d -d -d, let's say 8... Or should we say a lot lower than that? Let's just get a number and see what we can do. So, some people use three. Um, I don't think three is going to be enough, but we'll see. Um, let's just go with three to begin with, though. Yeah, okay. And attach this directly into there. So, if the pressure is greater than three, we will be losing a bunch of water. Okay, so the next thing is uh, we actually need to add water back to it if we can. So, let's go ahead and do this. We'll just go ahead and shove it in on this side for now. Delete that guy right there. Uh, what is this? So this is fluid in. Okay, cool. We need to delete this, delete this. Get ourselves a pipe from the bottom going upwards. And uh, see what we can do from there. So do this up to here. That's good. Send the pipe a little bit further up. And attach it straight into there like so. Good. We're then going to go from here upwards. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and send it quite far. So like this. And realistically we should attach it onto there. But we can do it differently. We can just go ahead and send it through to... Oh no. We can't do that. We can't do that. No. Okay, I might actually just attach it onto there. Because uh, that also works. So go ahead and push it into here. And send it straight in, please. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Do this. Good. Do that. There we go. And now we need this to turn on whenever we don't have uh, 12,775 water in there. So we need to get ourselves a less than. Go ahead and shove it on this side. There we go. Good. Attach this to there, that's awesome, and now we need some other stuff too, so uh, how do we go about doing this? How do we go about doing this? We need another number, do, 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 yes, go ahead and grab the constant number, put it in down here, attach this guy to there, attach this guy to here, and this needs to be 12,775, just so we always have the same amount of fuel in there. Okay, that's fine. But this does mean that the water going back into there is going to be cool. But I think that's okay, because the nuclear reactor should be able to heat it up. I'm assuming. I don't know. Anyway, let's give everything some electricity and see if it all actually works. Attach that to there, attach this to here, and to here. And there we go. Okay, good. Okay, so pressure is going up, as you guys can see. And as soon as it gets to three, we should start getting steam out through the bottom. Um, which is... Seemingly very very strange, but it isn't letting it go past what it needs to so that's good um, And the water in here is going down because um, I didn't actually put a fluid input on that one So uh, yeah, there's no way of actually filling this back up, but it's not exploding anymore It is a little bit ugly and definitely not how you wanted it to work, but um, it is working I think what we need to do is actually increase this system to make it a little bit better Otherwise, we'll have so many issues you know, we need it to pump through here quicker. I don't know how to do that, though. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this is totally working, so I'm actually really pleased with this. Um, this isn't getting past three that much, and it is letting it out. So now it works. Good. All right, so I've gone forwards a little bit, and uh, we've obviously done that. So it is at 97. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually leave it for a second and see if this increases. Uh, because that's what we have to worry about. In fact, actually... We could use the nuclear stuff for prop propulsion uh, instead of the uh, batteries, but I don't know whether I want to do that. Okay, it is actually going down. So what if we did do it that way? What if we went straight from the nuclear output? Uh, instead of going straight into this, we actually went straight to the propeller and we did it that way. I mean, I'm sure that would work, but I don't know whether we want it to do that. I'm not sure. Anyway, send it this way. All right, good. There we go. Go ahead and delete this guy. Send this bit this way. There we go, so we can attach both of those together using this. There we go, and sending it down. There we go, and attaching it together. There we go, nice. So whenever we've got pressure in here, we can actually send it, but we do need a um, clutch in order to do that. So grab ourselves a clutch, whack it on there, whack these guys together, 
send this straight up to WNS or whatever, and then we should be able to move it around. Okay, so we got the pressure, as you guys can see right there, we are up to three, and now if we go to the inside, oh my, what is happening to the camera? Uh, we should be able to press W, and it should start moving. Did I... I don't think I give it any electricity. Ah, that's an issue. But if I do this... There you go. So I didn't give the clutch any electricity, but now it is actually pushing it around. Kind of slowly, to be honest. That is very, very slow. That's extremely slow. Yikes. But anyway, it is worth mentioning, we do actually now have a nuclear reactor inside. I just need to work out how to make it more efficient, and then we can actually use it. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know whether you want a uh, reactor with an electric motor, or whether you want the reactor to actually push the propeller around, uh, because it's kind of important. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.